Hello, good people. Welcome to Global Happenings today. Now, some few days ago, the senior social assistant to the president, Gabashe, who came out to tell Nigerians that security has greatly improved because of what uh, has been done by this administration to change the narrative. And Horiwa came out to challenge him that that's not true. And if he feels that it is true, uh, he should embark on a journey to the northern part of Nigeria. You're going to hear the response that he has given to Horiwa and what Horiwa's standpoint is in, re in respect to some of the conditions that he has given. But before we give you full details of all of that, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos. Gaba Shehu, the special or the senior special assistant to President Muhammad Buhari, has accepted a challenge posed to him by the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Horiwa, to travel on Nigerian roads without his security details. Horiwa, as, as earlier reported, had challenged Shehu to embark on a road journey from Abuja to any of the northern states with, without security men. The challenge follows Shehu's public claim that Buhari, as Nigerian president, deserves credit for his effort in tackling security issues in the country. Horiwa dare him to embark on a trip or cover his face in shame for dancing on the graves of hundreds of innocent citizens whose lives have been cut short on Nigerian roads, especially in the northwest by Fulani insurgents in the last six years. The prominent human rights organization went on to list numerous pieces of evidence of such incidents where innocent travelers were either maimed or taken out, insisting that the presidential aid lacked decorum and respect for the memories of those hapless and innocent Nigerians whose lives were deliberately taken away by different um, non-state actors. Accepting the challenge, Horiwa noted that it appears that Shehu mistook the challenge made out of altruism and patriotism to mean that we had betted out or fixed some amount of money to be paid to him should he take up the challenge. <laughs> According to them, they said, we made our challenge based on empirical evidence that insecurity is still reef and that unless these killers are brought to trial and published, which is not the case now, we can't say the government is successful with the fight against these onslaught. Horiwa said, adding that it had been advised by a senior lawyer to ignore Gaba Shewu and his antics. Gabashe, who had called us on the phone to accept the challenge on the condition that within 48 hours we should bring our lawyer so his lawyer sign agreement that something on towards won't be orchestrated while he embarked on the journey in line with our challenge. The group explained in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Ongobiko, and made available. Oriwa noted that by accepting the challenge on conditions, Shehu had already contradicted himself, adding that all that he needed to do was to go ahead and travel to the aforementioned and show evidence that he actually did a road journey without security details. He has, he, according to them, they said he has to do it with a credible television station who should also be brave enough to cover it since they reported him saying that security security has improved. <laughs> wow, I mean, this is really, really funny. I'm telling you, it's almost like a joke. Now, first of all, based on what Horiwa have said, we all know that one of the news that hits our airwaves, that's hit the social media most, there's no single day that you won't see such a news. It's either one level of insecurity here or there, especially in the northern part of Nigeria. Now, fairly recently, we have heard not what had been happening on Abuja-Kaduna Road. There was a time that these guys were on the road 
for four days stopping people from traveling and it wasn't that they were just stopping people those who were available they would take them you know and abduct them and they pay a reasonable ransom some of them in the process of the abduction some of them may oftentimes do not survive you understand and like today i've heard on our news how they also did the same thing again where they had to you know abduct some reasonable number of people and you know took them to the bush nobody knows what the people's status is right now and it's been happening like that now it doesn't mean that the government is not doing the little they can but guess what what nigerians are saying is that the best of the government is not good enough because even when they claim to have done so much in the area of fighting insecurity they are still proofs you know they are still proof to pointing to the fact that what they have done may have been good in their eyes but it is not the right strategy to curb the level of insurgency and insecurity in the country you know even in normal um, arrangement if for example you carry a product and you wander around the whole town and then you come back and report your effort without the without you showing proof of sales nobody will record that you did anything and that is true which means that you or what you did, you were only laboring. You did not adopt the right strategy, sell strategy to come back with results. Results is what everybody looks out for. Even if it's in a very short span of time and you are able to prove to the people that this is what I have done, this is what I've done, this is what I've done, that is the only time you will be celebrated. I mean, even if you have to call each and every security um, leaders to come out and speak concerning security in Nigeria, nobody will tell you it has improved right now even in it's not even in just the northern part of nigeria come to the southern part of nigeria it's also happening you know people cannot pass in certain places without being you know at least covered you know military must cover them and all of that that's not how it should be who are you call any of these um leaders um yeah the leaders how many of them have traveled by route since 2020 most of them have not. They can't even try it. Talk less of entering public bus. Nobody is even thinking in that direction. The reason is because these guys can show up anytime. Now look at what happened in Southeast. What this UGM did in Southeast to one of the senators, you know, his uh, convoy. Look at what they did to him. Just to show you that insecurity, despite the fact that the military has decided to station their, you know, base in the southeastern part of Nigeria, but yet we are still hearing multiple cases of insecurity. Now, just to show you that whatever strategy the president is adopting is not fighting the whole stuff from the root, because what the what I'm seeing right now is that there are root causes to all of these things in Niger happening in Nigeria, and if you continue to cut off, you know, the branches, they will grow back. The ideal thing is to go straight to the root. I think one of the things they have done fairly recently is uh, the court case that was presented by the federal government to uh, turn all insurgents or turn uh, bandits to insurgents wherever they are caught. I think that's one of them. But guess what? It has not been completed. Another style that must be adopted is to set up a structure or a set of security personnel who go all out to hunt for these guys. Anytime they, they have been gotten, no stories. Just at least let them go and visit their creator. You understand? So uh, that's just the way out of this. There's no need for him to say uh, there is no insecurity and all of that. Go and travel on the road now and see what will happen. <laughs> that was who I, I don't know what his plans are. But however, I can assure you that in Nigeria, the issue of insecurity is still biting hard day after day. If you claim that there is no insecurity in Nigeria, why are we still having, you know, uh, uh, internally displaced people? Why? Why are we still seeing people running away from, you know, their villages in the north to the south? Why are we still hearing stories of uh, things happening on the road from Abuja to Kaduna? People cannot travel the way they should be traveling. It's obvious that things are not right. Okay, why should a governor and his convoy, I mean, I'm talking about the, I think, Bauchi or Bronu state governor. Why, should, why was he being attacked if everything was at peace? These are pointed to the fact, no, it's something that nobody should begin to even argue. 
it's been there. So it's the only thing is that we should adopt better strategies to see how we can curtail these things from happening because it's not fun. It, I, I think insecurity has been the lowest point for uh, uh, for this administration. They've scored the lowest point in insecurity. However, we're still hoping that better strategies will be adopted, you know, to salvage Nigerians from the hands of these heartless guys who are disturbing the peace of the country. We'd like to leave it there. Go to our comment section. What's your position about uh, the special assistant to the president accepting the challenge put ahead of him to travel by route to any community in the